Hi there, my name is Kat Themis, I work for LG Mobile UK and I'm here today to show you our brand new, world's first Optimus 3D handset. Um, I'm going to talk about the 3D aspect very shortly, but I'm going to talk through some cosmetics of the phone. It's a 4.3 inch capacitive display, it's running Android version 2.2 at launch. After launch, customers can then upgrade to um, Gingerbread, so it is, it is a little bit future proof there. In terms of cosmetics, it's very slimline. Okay, um, when I talk about 3D, not only can you view back um, content in 3D without the need for glasses, you can actually capture content in 3D using the 5 megapixel dual cameras on the back. You can also take a photo in 3D and hopefully I'll get a chance to show you that shortly. Now, a couple of extra software differences that we've added to LG's Android. So when you pinch in, you can actually view all seven of your home screens. At the moment, I've only got five selected. I'd be able to jump from one to another so I could view my shortcuts easily. Um, but I'm guessing that you'd like to go through to the 3D side of it. Now, before I go through to the 3D visual, I want to talk about another 3Ds that LG um, have launched as a first. It's, this is going to be the world's... It's a very powerful handset, essentially. 3Ds, we're talking about a dual-core processor. That's 1D. Second D is dual channel. Third D is dual memory. Now it's a simultaneous dual core processor, so it handles massive amounts of data. What that means for us as general users is the fact that you'll be able to load your games faster, you're not going to get any lag, you can go into the browser, you can view YouTube and it's not going to, it's not going to delay things like that. So let's get on with the 3D. I'm going to load the menu up for you. And as you can see, I hold it nearer, you can see four different icons for the 3D there. Now you can access the 3D menu via this icon here or what we'd expect to have on a high tier handset like this is a multi-function button. So we've got a 3D button there. I'm going to press the 3D. And I'm not sure how you will see this through the lens. So what I'm going to do, this, this has now brought up my 3D menu. So I'm going to tilt it. And hopefully, you might be able to capture some part of the 3D side of it. Now, this is the 3D menu. So when you load this one up, it will give you initially a guide. This will tell you how the 3D screen works. And if I scroll across, you can see we've got games and apps. Now this, again, you've got 3D game. Three 3D games are preloaded onto these handsets at launch. Um, I'm going to talk you through which ones they are. If you like your games um, for racing, you've got Asphalt 6. Golfing is Let's Golf 2. And then you've got a shooting game called Nova. You've also got a visual book. Um, when I say visual book, I'm talking about the animation of the book as opposed to text, because um, that would be strange in 3D. <laughs> I'm just going to jump back. So that's the 3D games that are originally on the handset. If I scroll through, this is another world first for LG. Um, we're going to be the first manufacturer at launch to be able to give the customers the ability to upload content in 3D, download content in 3D and share um, with YouTube. So you can see I've got a YouTube option here. Gallery is where all my contents are stored, whether I've videoed it myself, whether I've downloaded it or whether it's available on the handset. So I'm going to go through with that shortly for you. We also have, like I mentioned before, the ability to capture 3D images. And this is also how you video record, which I'm going to show you as well. But I thought I'd just run through this. So we've gone through the guide, gone through the games, mentioned YouTube, gallery. So I'm going to load up the gallery for you. Again, I'm not sure how this will come across through the lens, so I'm going to tilt the phone. And hopefully, you know, you might be able to freeze it or speed it up and you will see it in 3D. Um, I'm going to find the best clip to demo. I feel is this one. Now hopefully, hopefully you can see it square on. At the moment it might not, not look like 3D, but I will tilt it. And hopefully, you guys at home might be able to see it in 3D. Okay? You can see the fishes? So we've given you the perception of depth there. So it looks like you're looking in and looking around. So again, world's first handset to give you this kind of capability without the need for glasses. Okay? I'm going to jump out of that video now because I want to go through the imaging side of the handset. So, I'm going to scroll back through to the camera. And hopefully, I know you can see my hand at the moment, I've just loaded the camera up. I'm going to move around. Sorry, there's a lot of wires at the moment. And I've got the boxes there in my vision. At the moment, the camera, yeah, is set to 3D. Okay? Now, hopefully, when I press this icon here, there's a little 3D icon. I press this. 
this photo into 3D. So I took a 2D shot, I can convert it into 3D and vice versa. If I take a 3D shot, I press and hold down the 3D multifunction key and that should take us into 2D. Something else that we can do with this Optimus 3D handset is connect it up to a 3D or HD ready TV. Um, as you can see, we've got an Optimus 3D handset. It's linked up, well, it's currently on um, your tripod. It's linked up with a HDMI cable. Now, the benefit of that for customers is that if you'd like to carry on gaming in 3D, which you can do on the handset, you can carry on gaming through the telly. Now, unfortunately, due to a slightly different technology, you won't be able to view the games in 3D um, without glasses once it's transferred to, to the TV. These are the types of glasses you're going to have to wear, okay, in order to view the games in 3D on the TV. But it just gives you a bigger space in which to play. Any content that you've re video recorded on the handset in 3D, once you've connected it up to a 3D ready TV, you'll have the ability to actually view in 3D. But again, you need the glasses to view that content. Um, Anything you've recorded in standard 2D will give you the ability to play it back on a HD ready TV in full HD. The playback rate on the, on the 2D video will be 1080p and on 3D, 720p.